Hi there, I'm WWF India's naturalist and today I'm going to be taking you on an adventure into the jungle. So let's learn about your local biodiversity. Just have that enthusiasm, that excitement that we're learning something new. Come along and join me. So let me tell you a story. I had this colleague of mine whose name was Ion Day. One day it was Ion's birthday and I thought of calling him in a very different way. Just try and repeat the actions that I'm doing. Hold your nose, tilt your head a bit and loudly shout Ion! 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 And that's how you shall get the sound of your Indian peafowl which is also your national bird. How wonderful! And these birds are your very social jungle babblers. You can also call them your seven brothers or seven sisters because you'll often see them in a group of six to seven. Now when they are in a group, they would often make this chattering sound like a chatterbox. They would make this sound of They love to seek attention. So if you're not paying attention, this bird will give you a warning. Hey, you're not listening to me. Purely magical. This is your jungle karonda. It has about seven petals. What a fruitful smell. Beautiful. You will often hear this bird singing out loud to you during the rainy season. It's called the brain fever bird. So if you actually try and break the lyrics of the sound, it will sound something similar to brain fever, brain fever, brain fever. And you can hear it right now. Now, we are going to meet the architects of nature. These architects are the Baya weavers. Striking golden yellow are the males in their breeding season. These guys have a tough task to do. They are supposed to weave their nest using the fresh grass blades. Now the male has to completely make a nice basket kind of nest and then he invites the females fluttering his wings like this and singing out loud that come visit me at my place but it's magical to just see the males sitting on the complete nest and fluttering out making some nice sounds to attract the female so it's something like chi 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 This, my friend, is an oriental garden lizard. Now this guy is completely covered by scales. Now what are these scales actually made up of? They're made up of the same material that our fingernails are made up of. It's called the keratin. Now these guys will also be able to change their body color based on their moods. The beautiful oriental garden lizard. This master of camouflage is called the jungle nightjar. Now these are typical insect feeding birds and they may not have a very impressive or a stunning beak like maybe other birds do. But these guys have a very blunt small beak which once they open it, it's more like a bug net. 
So let's meet a feathered friend, this beautiful Indian pitta, and try and count the different number of colors that you can see in the bird. Well, I can see a red, I can see a blue, something like a skin color. I can see the black stripe around the eye. Try and guess more. That's your task. Well, what you see here is a very unusual and a rare moment. Both of them look very different in the colors. The one looks exactly like a plain tiger and the other is like a Danidec fly male. It's actually the Danidec fly female which is mimicking the plain tiger in order to survive. The interesting part here is that because plain tigers are considered toxic, they are often avoided by a lot of predators. And that is one mimicry or a defense mechanism in butterflies that you can actually see if you are really silent in nature and really lucky. This tree is a very common native tree around us and we are often known to worship this tree. You can simply call it the people tree. But remember, it's not P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, but it's the P with double E, P-A-L. Now if you see this leaf, it looks more like the spade with a really long ponytail. And that's how you actually identify the people tree by looking at its leaf. Remember that almost every native tree will always and always have its medicinal properties. So when you are planting a tree, remember it is a must to plant a native tree around you. Now what you see here are actually nature's choco chips. Well, you don't have to actually try one because this is the poop of the Neil guy. You can also call it the blue bull, which is Asia's largest antelope. Poop in wildlife has its own benefits to nature. Now, the major benefit here is that the Neil guy poop will help in the seed dispersal of many plants around, and that's how. It flourishes and encourages the growth of nature and its ecosystem around. Look at this little lemon pansy. As soon as you start sweating and there's good amount of sunlight coming onto you, it seems to be a good perching site for the butterfly and it's getting enough salts from me. I'm going to try and get it onto my hand. Oops. All right. So attracting butterflies towards you is a game of patience. Don't directly try and catch a butterfly because the wings of the butterfly are very sensitive. And if you touch them, you may end up taking off the wing completely. And see the club shaped antenna that it has, and hence you can actually say that it's a butterfly. I'm just taking another casual walk with the lemon pansy. I have not tried to capture the butterfly, I've not tried to catch hold of the butterfly. It's just patience. All right, so remember, a lot of times the tree bark is often important in identifying the particular tree. Now, don't forget to also try this activity. When you are next to a tree, just take a paper, just take a pen or a pencil, and just try and trace how the bark texture is. If you don't have any of them, just thank the trees around you for helping you 
in providing oxygen. So you can give them a nice hug. Do remember that you wear your right shoes when you are in nature. You will feel thirsty. So do carry a bottle of water with you wherever you go and ensure that it is not a plastic one and nature will give back the best possible experiences to you and you will have a great adventure. The brain fever is continuously calling out to me. So it seems like he doesn't want me to go home. Hope you've had a great adventure today and until next time, thank you.